This is the Sanat Kumara. Welcome to my 14th lecture of this year at Namas University, Earth Spiritual Digital University, the place and community that grows you into fully soul-guided and Shambhala-assisted human beings able to create the life you are supposed to live and the future of Earth according to the divine plan. In the three remaining lectures of the months of April and the lectures of June 2023, I will focus on active spiritual growth lessons you can draw from Volume 2 of the Chronicles of Sanat Kumara, God Station in Arkham Cathedral. In the next three lectures, we will enter into the cosmic communication system. And I will also inform you about the latest development with regard to nature stations. Today, we will start with active spiritual growth in Trinity, Triangle and Triad. At the end of this lecture, I will answer the burning question many of you raised about how to get your Merkaba fully functioning on your own. I will finish with some practical information on how best to study with Namas University, as well as post three service positions at Namas University. Following the next lectures, it is beneficial if you read Volume 2 of My Chronicles in parallel. But if you don't have access to them because you live in countries not yet supplied by Amazon or it is not available in your mother tongue yet, you will reap huge benefits from what is to come today and in the next lectures of mine anyway. In Volume 1 of the Chronicles of Sanat Kumara, I'm ready. You meet the main character, Lucia, who has a different life path than you have, but on the other hand is very similar to you. In her family and closest environment, she's nearly all alone with her spirituality. There's only one couple living nearby, healers who live a holistic life, whom she can turn to from time to time. But for the rest, she's all on her own and has learned that she gets mocked and criticized if she opens up about what really matters to her. Consequently, she keeps her spirituality for herself, reads textbooks and how-to-do books to enlarge her knowledge. She also collects stones and crystals and learns Reiki to help others. All in all, she's very much in the mode of passive spirituality. She's consuming other people's spiritual experiences whilst feeling most in tune with life when she is out and about in nature. However, her life and spirituality shift when she changes her environment and moves to Aachen for her studies of georesources management at the Technical University. There she meets Tasha from Peru, and they bond not only on caring for Earth's natural resources, but mostly about their spirituality. Finally, there is someone to have open and honest conversations with. Because Lucia and Tasha open up to each other, spiritual growth can occur faster. They can support each other and learn from one another, both bringing a different spiritual skill set to this new friendship. That is exactly the path all of you will have to take. Opening up to someone. Getting out of your spiritual loneliness becoming ready for spiritual growth of active servers you are here for. The active service of Lucia and Tasha starts when they open the first of the five main stations of the cosmic communication system 
in the octagon of Arken Cathedral, as well as the nature station Fairywood. I will speak about the cosmic communication system in the next two lectures in detail. Today we focus on the prerequisite that allows major spiritual work necessary on planet Earth to take place. And that prerequisite is all major spiritual work is done in groups of at least three. Yes, you can do clearing and the healing of places and people, but you cannot bring in new energies needed as an individual alone. And even certain clearings and healings are not possible by individuals either, no matter how spiritually advanced you are. This might be new to you, but is known in the various spiritual cultures you grew up in for thousands of years. Perfection and balance derive from the Trinity, from the Holy Trinity. Here are a few examples of various cultures. Every system of belief and thought at some point encounters the power of Trinity. An action sets in motion a reaction that has an effect. One, two, three. The original is changed by the action. The one is the origin. The reaction, the opposite of the origin, is the two. And the effect is the changed originality, the three. Great inventors like Nikola Tesla understood this mastery of the Trinity and explained it. The three, the Trinity, is also found in Egyptian religion with Isis, Osiris, Horus. In Telemas, cosmology with Nuit, Hadid, Rahu, Kuit. In Greek mythology with Zeus, Demeter and Ares, as well as Pan, Aphrodite and Hermes. In Roman mythology with Jupiter, Venus, Mercury, as well as Apollo, Diana, Mars. In Hinduism with Brahma, Vishnu, Shiva. In the Kabbalah with Keta, Kokma, Bina and with Kokma, Bina, Dat. In Christianity with Father, Son, Holy Spirit and with Joseph, Mary and Joshua, a.k.a. Jesus. You also find the Trinity in earthly astrology with Sun, Moon, Earth. The main station of the cosmic communication system in Europe, in the octagon of Arken Cathedral, had to stay inactive for more than 1,200 years, not only because time was not ripe for it to start its work after the fall of Atlantis, but also because it needed a trinity, more specifically a triangle of advanced spiritual people to open it again. A triangle is a trinity that works in harmony and balance, led by one of the three people participating in it. A triad is a triangle where team members understand and know each other so well that it is in such a state of harmony that no leader is necessary anymore. What does that mean for you, wherever you are listening to me right now? Move out of your isolation and passive spirituality into active spirituality. The study groups will give you an opening to people who are like-minded and willing to learn as you are. Here you will also find people to bond with beyond learning. Once you have established direct soul communication with my e-booklet, The Sanat Kumara, we from Shambhala will also be able to guide you towards suitable people to bond with for energy work that needs to be done for our planet urgently. Energy work for the benefit of other people. 
our planet and all life that calls us home must become a constant in your life so that the whole of life on earth can recover and advance with the incoming energies that complete the shift from the third through to the fifth dimension. We, the teacher doers of Namas University, will do our part to support you in this. Remember, we strive for unity in and all levels of Earth for Earth eventually to be able to fulfill its mission as the spiritual university planet for our galaxy and beyond. If you read God's station in Arkham Cathedral with that in mind, your intuition will guide you to even deeper insights. On to your burning question. How can you activate and maintain your Merkaba to fully functional all by yourself? First, some background information for those of you not familiar enough with the Merkaba. The Merkaba is the receiver of higher guidance. Your chakra system, by contrast, transmits energy within your physical and etherical body. However, the Merkaba and the chakra system are linked. The better the Merkaba works, the better your chakra system does, which in turn means your body does. The Merkaba is a crystalline structure of sacred geometry a shape code to move between dimensions and communicate with beings and civilizations in our universe far and wide. Every living being has a Merkaba. So does Earth itself. The Merkaba is shaped as two intersecting three-sided pyramids, balanced and stable. The lower pyramid pointing to heaven, the higher pointing to Earth. The lower pyramid is receiving energies from heaven whilst rotating against the clock. The higher pyramid is drawing energies upwards whilst rotating with the clock. Spinning in opposite directions, a crystalline vortex of highest energy gets linked to the heart chakra for manifestation and creation. A fully functional Merkaba emanates white and golden light that expands into the colors of the rainbow. Now, how do you fully activate your Merkaba? Sit down, close your eyes and become calm and quiet. Then, ask your intuition to show you how your Merkaba looks like right now. If the image you will receive differs from what I have just explained, your Merkaba is dysfunctional. To rebuild and later also regularly maintain it, recall the image I just gave to you of a fully functional Merkaba beaming with white and golden light into the colors of the rainbow. Visualize it as clearly and detailed as you possibly can and ask your intuition what needs to be done by you to get your Merkaba as beaming and receiving as this one. If you have difficulties visualizing the fully functional Merkaba in the beginning, search the internet for an image and train yourself with that image first so that your mind can recreate it with ease. Once your intuition gets a clear picture of what you want your Merkaba to be like, it will tell you exactly what you need to do to transform it. If you want to reap the maximum benefit of studying with us, Make sure that you listen to all lectures as of the beginning of this year carefully. If you join later this year and even only in 2024, start from the beginning as well. We will repeat certain information but always place them 
in a different context so that your library of mind expands constantly. Don't skip lessons because you think you already know so much after years and even decades of spiritual studies elsewhere. Each one of you listening knows much, but each one of you needs to expand this knowledge further and place it into a larger context that is developing now on Earth as well. Earth is going through a shift in frequency, and you have to move and grow with it. The library of your mind has many connections that still need to be activated now, and that only stories and pictures allow for. That is why we provide you with stories and illustrations. We will also provide you with music for this time of Earth's development, as well as chants and light language. Pick those which resonates with you the most. As for my personal portal paintings, these are dedicated for all who will commit working with me directly and long term. Many of you have also sent messages to Martina and me saying that you want to contribute to Namas University. We have three teams working closely together in three fields of service. There are incarnated humans who team up with a teacher from higher dimensions, such as Martina, Katarina and four more you don't know by name yet. Then there are the cultural guardians who help to translate and transfer oral and written teachings into other languages and cultural contexts. These people are also guided by at least one of us from higher dimensions. Then we have the technical and administrative team, which still needs to be built and will be in daily interaction with both co-teachers and guardians. Both tech team members and guardians can also develop into co-teacher roles if their sole mission allows for that. If you start as a co-teacher right away like Martina, we from higher dimensions will call upon you directly and inform Martina in parallel about you. If your role is that of a guardian or tech team member, we will nudge you clearly to contact me via Martina with your specific skills. Higher spiritual awareness and abilities that blossom with us are one part. Serving selflessly with needed practical skills is the other. Currently, we are looking for an additional cultural guardian for the Hindi culture and language who resonates spiritually and physically with the chronicles of Sanat Kumara. Hindi is your mother tongue and you need to be fluent in English. Love words and playing with them. You must love the clay of the earth and the sound of the divine attached to each word. To be able to read between the lines, create and compose with us, whilst with your two feet firmly on the ground and your head and heart high up with us. If this sounds like you and you feel that you will be able to transfer my chronicles into Hindi, please let me know via Martina. Furthermore, we are looking for tech team members. A website developer and manager of the Namas University website as well as a digital and artificial intelligence expert with a background in publishing and media to support Martina setting up Namas University's digital media and publishing house. For more than two months, I'm waiting for the person to write to me via the contact button university of my website, thisanatkumara.com, for the position of website developer and manager of Namas University. There are three people listening who are able to fill this role in serving people and planet. Here is a job description to give you the final nudge to reach out to me. 
you have experience in developing a modern style website from a template and keeping it up to date. You don't need to be a code writer, but willing to learn and grow your technical skills. You can think in complex structures that provide website visitors with information in now four, next year in six, and the year thereafter in eight languages. You are meticulous down to the last detail, reliable, diligent and trustworthy to handle website changes confidently on a weekly basis. You are following latest technical developments in website advancements and apply this knowledge to the NAMAS University website. You are willing to take this service for the benefit of NAMAS University on until the end of 2025. You are willing to build a team that takes on part of the work and helps expand our reach. You will be working closely with Martina, the other incoming incarnated co-teachers and us from higher dimensions. For that you are either a native English speaker or fluent in English close to a native speaker with one or even better two more languages at your disposal. Is that nudge enough now? I hope so. Finally, my ambition for Namas University is to reach and serve all people on this planet in an equal manner at the same time. In order to achieve this, we need to build our own digital publication and media house. Martina and I have already been envisioning and conceptualizing it. Now we need one or two more on the team to make it happen. We need someone with up-to-date knowledge about all digital and artificial intelligence developments in communication, publication, media houses, streaming companies, etc. It is your task to work with Martina on a technical and financial feasibility study that aims to establish our publication and media house within the next three years. This publication and media house working for Namas University will be located in Aachen, in close proximity to the first main station of the Cosmic Communication System. If you feel my nudge for this service together with Martina and myself, and if you have the necessary expertise, please contact Martina, who is leading the project. That was quite a lot again, yet also all I have to say today. In my next lecture, I will take you right inside the cosmic communication system. If you have the possibility to prepare yourself with Volume 2 of my Chronicles, got station in Arkham Cathedral beforehand, please do so. Until next week, I love you all and I bless you all. This was the Sanat Kumara. <laughs>